Memphis. Here we are, it's Memphis Rising premiere, and it was a wonderful movie. This is Weston McGuire, and you played the young Elvis, and you played... I played as his friend. And you were young Elvis's friend in Tupelo, Mississippi. Tell me a little bit about the experience, just being a film about this great legend in music. How was it for you? It was pretty fun. Like, everybody on the crew was just really nice, like family. Just, I didn't really know much about the film before I did it, so I just played what I was supposed to play, and it was very fun. Yeah, and the, and the scenes where you got uh, the guitar for the first time, it, it's really amazing, the cinematic uh, culture of that, because basically it went from black and white to color. It kind of reminded you, of like, oh, okay, all of a sudden it's like, you know, he came into his own, and then all of a sudden it's coloration. I like that effect. I thought it was great. And then you playing the buddy, what was it for you? What was your fun experience on set? Well, I'm, like, really good friends with him, so, yeah, it was really fun, and everybody <laughs> Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, was, that was very good. Uh, did you uh, do any kind of research or reading about uh, the legend of King Elvis Presley? Not really, just my mom. I know my mom has a sister that's really into Elvis, so <laughs> it just kind of worked out. And yeah, I am from Baltimore, Maryland, and I have a lot of friends in Maryland that have Elvis velvet paintings, like everywhere. It's like the huge velvet paintings. And then my one friend in Dundalk, Maryland, she has a huge Elvis statue. Uh, inside it's wine and outside it's like a glass Elvis. So people are to this day very much, um, you know, like hailing him as the king of all rock and roll. So it's very cool. Well, in any case, I'm very happy to be here at the Music Hall Theater on, on Wilshire Boulevard. And peace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You can't help but have fun doing the Elvis, but of course, you know, I also wanted to maintain a little bit of Elvis integrity and keep it in good taste, even though it's very much a fantasy type of thing. Reality, but, but if it were to be a true, if it was to be a true story, it was to be treated as such. So you kind of can preserve the memory and not make it tacky. And, because the whole, you, know, you guys love to make a feel.